Hello guys, welcome back to the new video. So in this video, I will show you how you can add extra tabs in your WooCommerce single product page like this. Okay, so right now you can see that I have our single product page and in my single product page, I have these extra sections here where we have these type of sections. So if I go to the first section where I have these type of uh, images about my single uh, about my product and uh, I can also view these images like this. Okay, so you can add so I will show you how you can add such type of sections in your WooCommerce store. Also, if I go to the specification, you can see that I have this custom specification here. If I go to the more information, I have this accordion here where we can showcase our information like this. And if I click uh, any of this, the image will also open here like this. And here you, you can showcase all your product information in a beautiful manner. And uh, this is fully responsive for all the screens also. So I will show you how you can add such type of uh, WooCommerce extra tabs in your single product page. So without wasting any time, let's start the video and we're gonna make this from scratch. Okay, so let me go to the themes and plugin which I'm using. So here I'm using the extra theme and for the plugins, we're going to use the uh, Elementor Pro for making this go to uh, add new plugin. And after going to add new plugin, we have to install a plugin. So we have to write here tabs responsive. Okay, and after that, we have to search this plugin. Okay, so option is from WP Shop Mart. So we have to, uh, so we have to install this plugin. So let, let's install this plugin from here. Okay. So after installing this plugin, we have to uh, activate this plugin. So let's activate this plugin and after that, what we have to do, uh, you can see that we have this option here, tabs responsive and after that we have to go to the uh, alt, go to the uh, add new tab option. Okay, so let's go to the add new option and from here we have to make a new one. Okay, so for that, we what we have to do, we have to uh, name this first. So let's name this tab uh, extra information. Okay, so we have to name it here extra information and and after that we have to remove uh, and we have to remove all this uh, all this pre-made from here. So let's remove this one by one. So let's remove this one by one and this is uh, and you can see that we have few settings here where these options are here. So you can uh, go from one by one. Okay, then after that what we have to do we have to uh, go to the uh, this option uh, add new tab so we have to click on this and here we have this option so let me write here uh, extra info and uh, what we have to do we can go here and we can uh, choose a icon from here so let's choose this icon and after that after choosing this icon what we have to do so we have replaced this icon here okay so just we have to uh, update this and after then after this we have to go to the woocommerce all products so let's go to the woocommerce all product and here in the WooCommerce all product, let me open us, uh, let me open a product from here. So let me open this blue jeans. So let me view this here. Okay. So after opening this, you can see that right now we don't have any extra, uh, extra section here. So what we have to do, we have to add an extra section here. So for that, what we have to do, we have to open this in a, uh, we have to open this like this and we have to add uh, extra in, uh, extra section from here. Okay, so after opening this product, we are, what we have to do, we have to go to the tabs responsive. So let's go to this responsive option and from here we have to click on the add field. So when we click on this add field, so we have to enter the section name. So let's enter this name here. So suppose I want to showcase your gallery. So I am, so I will enter your gallery. Okay, so then you can also minimize these tabs from here. And after that we have to click on this. So let me write here some. Uh, specifications okay so after that we can enter some information from here so let's uh, uh, give this product some specification so you can copy and paste so let me copy and paste this from here multiple times so we're gonna paste some dummy content here so let me paste this uh, here and after that what we have to do we have to go to the specification part and we have to just update this product okay so let's up let's update this product and after that we have to go to this product and let's refresh this product once so let me refresh this product from here so here you can see that if i go to the specification i have this content which we have just added here so right now we have to make this gallery and for that uh, you can see that we don't have anything here where we're gonna showcase our uh, images in this gallery so for uh, adding the gallery here what we have to do we have to make a uh, elementor we have to go to the saved templates here and we have to make a new one okay so for that uh, let's go to here and here i have already made it made a so what we can do we can make a new from here so let's go to the add new and from here we have to choose a section so let me choose this section and here we're gonna write gallery new okay so let's me create this template 
okay so let's wait for it to open and after that we're gonna enter a gallery here so we have to close all these stuffs and we have to make our uh, so so uh, we have to choose the flex box and we have to choose the row option and after that we have to go here and we have to choose your full width and go to advanced and remove all the padding then enter here 60 and 60 okay then after that what we can do we can go to here and we have to search here uh, this option and after that we have to drag and drop this gallery option from here and after that we have to go to this and we have to select all the images which we gonna show inside our gallery okay so suppose i want to show some images so let me choose one two three four five six and seven eight nine okay so i will show this uh, images there so let me insert these images and here i'm gonna choose the random option so it will showcase all your images in a random way when we refresh this page okay so here i want to show uh, these columns here and the spacing between these images will be 20 and here the images are in this ratio but i'm going to showcase these images in one by one ratio so it will be perfectly square like this and also i want to show some good image quality here so i'm going to choose the large image quality okay so then after that you you can see that uh, this is added here so let me publish this okay so let me remove this padding from here because the padding is little bit more so let me add 20 to all the sites and let me publish this again and after that what we can do we can go to our uh, this option here let's go to the saved one so we have to open this so here if i go to the sections here i have this gallery new option and here uh, and here uh, i have the short code so so what we have to do we have to just copy and paste this short code so let's copy this short code here and we have to go to the gallery here and here we have to paste this short code so let me update this product again and let's wait for it uh, and after that we have to just go to this product and we have to refresh this okay so after refreshing you, you can see that in this uh, uh, in this section we have these all the uh, all the images which we have just added in our template okay so in this way we can add our product uh, extra section like this okay then after that let me show you how you can add uh, one more section which i have show in the video at first so for that what we have to do uh, we're gonna add a new section here so let me go to the add new section and here we're gonna name here uh, accordion section okay so we have to create this also so let me create this template also Okay, then after that, uh, what we have to do, we have to add a flex box here again and here like this. And we have to choose this full width and we have to add 20 padding from all the direction. And after that, what we have to do, we have to search for tabs here. So you will find this option uh, accordion. So we have to use this accordion. So let me show you how you can make here. So let me go to this and here we have to just uh, add this and inside this uh, what we can do, we can remove all the padding and let's make this like this. And after that we have to search here for grid so let me drag and drop this grid here okay so then we have to go to the advanced remove all the padding then we have to enter a section container here so let's remove all the padding and after that we have to drag and drop an image here okay then let's choose this image so let me choose this shoe here and in the link option we have to choose the media file and here we have to choose the yes option so when we click on this image it will open this image like this okay then after that we have to enter a heading here below of this so let me enter here heading one okay then after that we have to go to the this option and from here go to the container then go to layout and here we have to make this like this okay let's enter this and here we have to do it like this okay so then after that we have this heading here also now what we have to do we have to just to duplicate this multiple times so let me duplicate this container uh, four times so right now you can see that our one container go below so for that what we can do we can choose this, uh, choose this option here and we have to go to the grid option and from here we have to make this 4 by 1 so 4 by 1 will be like this okay then after that our one column is ready now we have to just dupli uh, duplicate our first column multiple times uh, multiple times like this and you can also style it from here so if i go to styles option uh, you can also change this content from here suppose if you want to change this content content one so you can showcase all your product specification and all here like this and go to styles and here if i go to the hover color so let me choose a color suppose i have a, i want to choose this color and if i 
uh, in the uh, active tab i want to show this red color also okay so like this and also if i go to the header and from here also i can choose the hover color to white and active color to white also so when i hover on this so this will be white like this okay so let me let me uh, let me save this also and after saving this let's uh, go to the templates here again and we're going to refresh this and go to the sections and here you can see that we have this uh, accordion section which we have just made so let me copy this short code and go to the product option and in the product go to the tabs responsive and here let's add a new field so the name of the field will be more uh, information something like and we have to create this short code here okay so then let's update this and after updating uh, you can see that after updating what we can do let's uh, go to our front end and here we have to just refresh this so after refreshing you can see that we have this gallery then specification and if i go to the more information we have this accordion here like this okay so in this way you can add uh, extra sections to your woocommerce single product page like this and you can add so many sections here and you can also customize this section like this by using the elementor templates okay so i hope you like uh, this video if you like this video please share our video with your friends and if you are new to our channel subscribe to our channel and i'm gonna see you next time